And here you can see yet another entrance to the uh, castle. We can go ahead and walk through to the other side. There's a courtyard inside devoted to government office space. And here we're going through the tunnel now. This was an outer courtyard, perhaps. And they have some construction or refinishing or refurbishing the castle. You can wonder what all these were used for a hundred years ago. And here, I think, is the main, what would be the main courtyard. And you can see that the uh, the entrances to the government offices and office space are here. I'm not sure if there's anything public and commercial here except for the government space. We continue on past that in the courtyard right through to the other side. Another small courtyard here. Right through if I don't know if you can if you can see it, but all the way through these entranceways and walkways you can actually see part of the pillar to the large Ludwig statue on the Wiesenplatz where we just were a few moments ago. And you can see in, in a building this old, or structures this old, you have um, always, almost always, some type of construction or refurbishing going on. This is the Castle Museum. Of course, it's not open today. And the bell tower. Here is just inside the main entranceway facing uh, the business district just off the Louise and Platz. And two large statues inside the opening. And here's the entranceway we just came through. And here's yet another Ludwig statue. There were uh, different Ludwigs over periods of time that Ludwig would be the person that inherited the family title um, for this land as the uh, ruling aristocrat and you see they've created a uh, statue of him on a horse of this particular Ludwig on a horse and if you look closely you'll see that the the birds and pigeons don't seem to have respect and over here you see the main schloss of Darmstadt or castle um, this would have been the castle in uh, older days and now it's used uh, for the university's library and some public office uh, space, government office space.
And this is just off the Louise and Platts, not very far away. And here is an interesting statue by the castle, Darmstadt Schloss. You can see it's a lion who has been wounded with arrows. And I won't read this for you because my German pronunciation is not so good, nor would I be able to tell you what it means at this point, but these are the captions on the statue, as well as more over here. And adjacent from that statue is the old opera house that you see here. And you can see some of the, the statues they have on either side of the main entrance. It's a bit noisy here due to the traffic. But I think what's interesting, and you can't see it from here, it's on the right side of the building. They actually have an entire sort of entranceway devoted to um, where someone in a horse and carriage would come up to the uh, opera house and uh, get off the carriage and move directly into the, the opera space. It's very interesting. Hello, this is Dave Snape, and I want to thank you for watching this video. I wanted to tell you briefly about my two books, What You Should Know About Gum Disease and How to Stop Gum Disease in Four Easy Steps. What You Should Know About Gum Disease is available in paperback at Toothy Grin Store and also available on Kindle. And How to Stop Gum Disease in Four Easy Steps is available at Toothy Grin Store on Kindle, and it's also available on Nook. Considering that dental professionals tell us that about 75% or 3 out of every 4 people have this problem, I think these are books that every family should have. Again, thank you for watching this video, and come visit me at toothygrinstore.com.